I never knew why the sight of shotguns and animal heads on walls made me uncomfortable. I thought I was being paranoid when I would clutch my son's hands more tightly as I walked around neighborhoods where I didn't feel I belonged. My son loves to pretend to fight evil like the characters he sees on TV. I asked him yesterday, are you a good guy or a bad guy? And he said, I'm a good guy. And it wasn't the time for me to tell him that not everyone would see him that way. It wasn't the time to tell him that innocence isn't enough. Because his skin, his brown skin apparently says something totally different. Son, when people see you, some don't see your skin color. They see guilt. And your head might be the head hung on their walls next. Or more likely, your face on a t-shirt. Your name behind a hashtag. When is it okay for me to tell him that we, we are the hunted? That justice is reliable for some while deadly for others, for us, because our existence, our being, is threatening. Son, when you look into the mirror, I want you to see that you are made in the image of God. But some see you, and they perceive that you are covered, covered in criminal. When our family gets together, we see beauty, and redemption but some don't see epidermis they see epidemic and the vaccine is administered by bullets son you are not what they perceive you to be it's not fair. and you're right it's not fair but I just want you to be aware today I saw an unarmed black man chased down and murdered on video again so hopelessness seems appropriate I just want you to know that this isn't about you hating yourself that isn't the answer but sin sin has entered this world and it would manifest itself in many ways and one of them is the hatred of your skin and the only thing that can overcome this hatred is the belief that Christ died to reconcile people to himself, but also to each other. So fight for that, even when people are fighting you.